hunting industry as a whole are great people. A lot of them get it, a lot of them know about the camaraderie that goes into it and it's not so much about the hunt, it's more about the experience. The hunt is the easiest part of what we do. It's the experience is why people come back because they are able to be part of our family. They are able to go out with my dad in the combine or come out and help chase cattle and help us with some cattle work. So with the snow coming in, Sal had to move some cows in. I was like, hey, I've done this. Like, what's we do with this? I grew up in New York and Chicago. So I have not been part of like the ranching lifestyle at all. I mean, that was just really cool that Sal kind of made us like honorary ranch hands today, I feel. <laughs> Me and Erin put our helmets on and we went out in there and Polaris Ranger really plays a part in this whole system. Rolling, rolling, rolling. They basically know exactly where to go. They're creatures of habit, aren't they? When it comes to the ranching and farming and outfitter side, we strain them. You know, they're going through the mud every single day. We didn't get our first one until after my grandpa died, but I wish we'd have had them when he was alive because they're so much easier on your body getting in and out of a pickup or a tractor or anything like that. Being out west, she's been on a horse and she's done the whole kettle driving thing, so I knew I was in good hands when she was driving. Yeah, girl, get it, get it, get it! It's been raining nonstop here for several days, and so there's so much mud. So they normally take out buses here, but by having the ranger, we were actually going to be able to get into the field a little bit further. I'm gonna tell you one or two things. Okay. I'm gonna tell you to stop, and we'll uh, let the dogs retrieve the birds to me, or I'm gonna tell you to keep walking. Okay. It means a lot for me to be able to share this with Shandi. I mean, I have such a high respect for her. I mean, she's so extremely knowledgeable with firearms. I love the fact that I get to come out here and experience this with someone that I truly believe is a friend, and then I have someone like that in the industry that I can share this experience with. If we can get together on any event, we're gonna do it. She's taught me a lot, and if I need something on the ammunition side, she's got my back. I never have to worry about if something's gonna get done or not. You don't find it in many industries where uh, you meet your best friend. We're gonna go hunt together, and uh, we're gonna love every minute of it. I really was not prepared for all the giggling that happened this weekend. Like, never, <laughs> never seen that quite as much. We hoot and holler just like they do and stuff. And so, yeah, the three of us kind of hit it off. And uh, the stories, and you know, that's what the business is about. I'm gonna remember a long time about those two. We're very family oriented and family run. I guide every day. Um, Kelly's usually over there cooking just about every day. My mom does all of our embroidery, so all of our gear from our pro shop. My mom does all that stuff, and dad helps us out on the farm, and, and uh, now the guides are pretty much all family as well. On this trip, we were shooting our BXD upland load, and it's such a great load. I mean, I was able to shoot a bird out to like 60, 70 yards and knocked him dead in one shot. It was great. You know, if you miss your first shot, you can always try to hit them on the second shot and when they're flying away a little bit. The way that we have, you know, designed this shell, it actually allows you to reach out to the further distances. I always tell the guys, a good dog will sell a hunt, a bad dog will ruin a hunt. We take a lot of pride in it. You know, we don't get to hunt ourselves. Our guides don't carry guns. Or we couldn't do it without it. I mean, you'd, you'd spend half your time looking for birds and the thick, heavy covers and stuff. Um, they, they're really spoiling. Good job, buddy. The pointer lab cross would jump like a mule deer, like straight in the air. And as soon as you saw her jump over the Milo, it was it was on. You knew she was on a bird. I'm shooting Satori Grand Lightning Maple. The craftsmanship in those, as you can see, are are beautiful. And down to every attention to detail. Yeah, buddy. Browning to me is all my memories, like with my dad or my grandpa or us being as a family in the mountains, being able to be in the industry now like, and work for a company that's made all these memories for me has been amazing. You know, it's a really long line of people who love this brand. My grandpa, my great grandpa, guns have been handed down to me since, you know, since those guys and they really instilled what this brand means. And I think everybody out there knows what this, this brand really is to them. And it, it holds a special place in everybody's everybody's heart. The buckmark is is them.